Max or Jay, I'm going to be making Lego fly. So you might be thinking, there's already Lego pieces that are made to fly. Yes, like this. This is a Lego Bionicle flying piece, and it flies super well. Let me show you. It just like takes off super easily. But I'm trying to make a Lego thing that flies with just like a regular like Lego fly from a set. So like this right here, and this is just like one of the usual propellers. I'll show you up close in a second, but I'm going to try to make this fly in the air. So let's get right into it. So this is a propeller right here. You've probably seen it before. I'm guessing you've seen it before, but if you haven't, it's, it look, just looks like this. Um, but the propellers are actually angled. You can kind of see right there, which that makes it so it will be able to fly. Um, to get it to fly, though, it'll probably have to spin way faster than my, the, bionic, the Bionicle one I just showed you because the wings aren't as steep. And as you can probably see, it's bigger and heavier, so it's just going to take more power. And um, with the Bionicle one, the wings are way more sloped, um, and it's super light, so this one takes off very easily, and it's it's made by LEGO to actually fly. This one is just meant for looks, it's not meant to fly, but I can. But it's impossible to make it fly, so um, I'll show you do that in a second. But for the Bionicle one, um, this piece right here, it's just a gear in there, a custom gear for it. Uh, made specifically for his purpose um, and then that just slides into that piece and there's actually ripcord with this um, it goes like this and then the blades just have a spot on it it goes right there and then I just pull it up and it'll launch since there's a hole inside the uh, propellers instead of like an axle uh, spot um, it makes it so you have to have a friction pin on the end so this is what I came up with for it, it it's one of these pins that has uh, too long of an axle and then a pin on the end that's a friction pin so it'll hold this uh, but then I just put the small gear holding I mean just put on there like that and then the propeller just slides on there and the propeller will still move but it, it will if this gets spun um, this won't spin separately from it so um, this is what I used it to make so this is a little, everything that will launch off of it is what it is so now what we gotta make it fly. So the first thing I've come up with here is um, a three long uh, axle with uh, with like a stopper at the end, um, with a crank and then a gear. And then this, uh, the launcher that will fly off just goes right there. Now um, this does not, I don't think this will take off because that is not enough force. But if I try it, so if I spin it this way, the propellers are going the wrong way as you can see. So I'll have to spin it back like that. But um, doesn't seem to be going at all, so if I go like that, nothing's happening. So I gotta make this go faster, or make my hands go faster, but it's not like I'm the flash or anything, so I gotta add another layer of gears, so let's do that. What I've done now is I've um, made this big gear spin another small gear, which that small gear spins a 24 tooth gear, so that will make it so the propeller goes right there. So if we put it in right here, um, if we spin it like this, it takes off a little bit. I mean, I gotta spin it really fast too. So I'm thinking one more gear layer should do the trick and it'll make it pretty easy to turn too and at the same time make it fly kind of high. So what I've done now is I've moved the 24 tooth gear to the top and replaced it by, with these two black gears right here, which should give it enough power to take off um, kind of, a, I think, enough to go pretty a decent height. So uh, let's just try this. So first try, it worked. Um, so I'm gonna show you that a little bit better. Um, right now. Okay guys, so this is a better clip of it working, so I just spin it this way. It takes off like that and it hits some stuff. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you one more of these and then I'll, I'll show you slow motion of it. So, let's just do this. There we go. It makes a lot of noise too, but yeah. One more thing you can do with this, guys, is you can use it as a fan. I don't know if you can tell, but it's blowing on me. Now, you can make it a faster gear ratio if you wanted it to be a fan. Uh, but as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell.